Hello everyone in this video we will be seeing another question from the UPSC this is optional but before starting this video i would like to share this thing the mechanics handouts are available now you can buy the handout by clicking on the link given in the description box so now let's get back to our question so this is a question from UPSC physics optional 2023 paper 1 so the question says you have to obtain the condition for a chromatism of two thin lenses separated by a finite distance so based on this condition we are given this numeric where we are given the dispersive powers of the materials of the two lenses 0.02 and 0.028 and their focal length 10 cm and the 5 cm and now we have to calculate the separation between them in order to form the achromatic combination so let's find the condition first first we will see what is chromatic aberration we know the refractive index of material is different for different wavelengths so we can say that the focal length is different for different wavelengths so therefore this property how the refractive index is varying for different wavelengths which in turn results in different focal lengths for different wavelengths so different colors have different focal lengths for a same material therefore this gives rise to the chromatic aberration in practice it is possible to correct the chromatic aberration for only two colors let's find the condition so we are going to find the condition for achromatism for two thin lenses which are separated by a finite distance d so in this diagram we have two lenses l1 and l2 and this l1 has having the focal length f1 and the dispersive power omega1 similarly l2 is having the focal length f2 and dispersive power omega2 and the separation between the two thin lenses is d so we have this formula for mean focal length if we have to find the mean focal length of any combination there capital F is the mean focal length and F1 and F2 are the individual focal lengths of the two lenses and this is the D is the separation between the two lenses. So this is the mean focal length. Now we have to differentiate this. On differentiation we get minus delta F over F square and this is minus delta F1 over F1 square minus delta F2 over F2 square and this is positive 1 over F1 D delta F2 over F2 square and this 1 over F2 D delta f1 over f1 square so this is the expression we will get after differentiation now we know the relation between focal length and the refractive index this is 1 over f is equal to mu minus 1 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 so now using this expression say this is the equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 we will use the equation number 2 and 1 so let's see how we will use this we have this expression so on differentiating this we will get minus delta f over f square is equal to delta u and this is 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 and we know and we can write this 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 as 1 over f mu minus 1 from this expression when we put this let's say this is third and this is fourth use 4 in 3 we will get minus delta f over f square is equal to delta mu and this is 1 over f mu minus 1 so we can write this as 1 over f delta mu over mu minus 1 and we know this delta mu over mu minus 1 is dispersive power so this is omega over f so let's get to the new page so we get this expression delta f over f square is equal to omega by f so let's say this is equation number 5 now we will use this equation number 5 in this equation number 1 and we will substitute for this these four terms so after replacing this we will get minus delta f over f square is equal to omega 1 over f1 similarly omega 2 f2 and this will become minus d over f2 this is omega 1 over f1 and this is minus d over f1 omega 2 f2 so now we have to find the condition for a chromatism so for this we have to have the mean focal length the deviation in the mean focal length for the two colors to be zero to eliminate the chromatic aberration so on putting the delta f equal to zero we will get the condition as omega 1 over f1 plus omega 2 over f2 and this is d over f1 f2 common this is omega 1 plus omega 2 so this will be like this on simplification so we can find the d so let's simplify it further so we will take this omega 1 f2 plus omega 2 f1 over f1 f2 and this is d f1 f2 omega 1 plus omega 2 so we can cancel this f1 f2 so the d will become omega 1 f2 plus omega 2 f1 over omega 1 plus omega 2 so this is the condition for achromatism for finite distance d so now let's 
get to the numerical part so in the numerical part we are given omega 1 and omega 2 0.02 and 0.028 and the f1 and f2 so we simply have to put all these four values in this expression so after putting this all the values we will get the separation which is 7.92 centimeter so this is the solution for this question if you have any doubts related to this question you can write me in the comment box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video